solution will not be televised. The revolution is now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Hit us on the payroll, nigga. What's up, man? MCT. I keep talking about the OGs. I keep talking about, man, let's bring this babe back. I look to my right and I saw an OG. What's up, man? Hey, what's up with it, baby? You know, it's Eddie Projects. Eddie's in the OG in the building, you know what I'm saying? My OG in the game. Been in the game for a minute, you know what I mean? I've been up under the radar. I came back as a solo artist. So, you know what I'm saying? I got some new things popping, man. It's pushing. Talk about that history. Talk about it from the get-go. How you get in this game? Check this out, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if y'all ain't know, Hitters on the Payroll is my group. Hitters on the Payroll came from the Loonies. You know what I'm saying? I got five on it. So when I got five on it was popping and they was on them tours doing them big tours, we was the hype men. I was the hype, one of the hype men on their tours. You know what I'm saying? Digital Underground, open up shows for Digital Underground. Actually, Money B from Digital Underground, who Tupac used to be with, named name me projects. Like projects, it just used to be Eddie P. Projects came from Money B, and, and the reason being is, is I was out there, you know what I'm saying, doing my thing. I used to come tear sound checks up and do my whole shit. So Money B said, man, that P gonna stand for projects, man, because you act like you straight up out the project. And that's what it's about. But it was just the history of just being with the loonies, you know what I'm saying, being with Digital Underground, rocking shows. I done been from here to New York, actually stayed in them, in them situations, stayed in them spots, you know what I'm saying, down south as a youngster, as a kid though, you know what I'm saying? And just being with a group, we, we formed a group, hit us on the payroll, we was in a group doing our thing, we had our first album, the first album we put out was called Underground Like Dead People, it was an underground album, we basically, uh, um, we didn't sign a deal that we were supposed to sign, so what we did was said, fuck it, we gonna take this album and boot legged ourselves and, 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 and the, the label we was under we created a label and it was called fuck y'all records excuse me i don't know if i can cuss or not yeah it was called fuck y'all records and we, and we put it out and we was like the first niggas selling tapes and selling cds in front of the hoagie shop in east oakland right there on seminary you can ask about us hit us on the payroll fucking one time and then after that what happened was we um we started working on our next album ghetto storm you feel me and we called it ghetto storm because we was taking the ghetto by storm like we was really we was really bringing it to them you know what i'm saying and it was an official album we got all our business together, courtesy of Jay Will and Shoot, and we came up with our own label called Hit of Records. And, and we put that album out. The album did pretty cool. It's just, you know how the game is, man. Everybody don't be on the same page and being in, you know, groups. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it don't work out, which we still love each other as brothers. Not saying that we broke up or nothing like that. Everybody just doing their own thing. So on that, the business tip. On the business tip, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I talk to my niggas every day. Everybody start doing their own thing, man, and everybody start doing their solo thing. So I created, me and Jay Will created a new label. It's called Payroll Family because we are payroll. Like, it's, it's real serious. You feel what I'm saying? That's the Payroll Family right there. That's what it is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I start working on that solo thing, man, and we put out a compilation, and it was called Open Street Music, the volume one. It was like a comp, I did that, and then after that I came with Street Music Volume 2, and then on that, that's when I came with the On Like Me single. But I didn't want everybody to get it twisted like 80 Projects went hyphy or nothing like that. It wasn't even about hyphy, like people misconstrued the song, you know what I'm saying, which I love hyphy. Hyphy is good, you know what I'm saying, and I, I like the, back, the background of hyphy. Like hyphy came from the streets, like niggas that was really moving it and really getting down like that, niggas was hyphy. And then, you know what I'm saying, they kind of commercialized it, which wasn't a bad thing, because motherfuckers started looking at us, you feel what I'm saying? But On Like Me was, I feel like it was just a straight club song. Who on like me? Yeah, yeah. Who on like me? Woo, woo. It's your boy Eddie P. Yeah, yeah. Who on like me? Yeah. Is anybody out there on like me? And, and that kind of gave me a, a whole new fan base. You know what I'm saying? It kind of like spread it out, touch different races. Because when I was just doing hitters on the payroll music, oh, it was just really for the ghettos. Talk about the hype movement more. I mean, you said that, you know, it's cool and all. It's great because it pushed the bay. It was necessary. Like the 90s and all that. Like we was on my music. It was it was all about my music. You know what I'm saying? And we created our own term of music and we called it hitter music. So it was all really about my music. It was really about the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all we knew. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Keep with the hyphy movement, you know what I'm saying, and, and Mac Dre, that was that was theirs and they had that going. Like those was those are the peoples and them was the peoples that really lived that life. Like Keek is really hyphy. Like that's how Keek whole character. Like can't nobody else come and be hyphy. 
You feel what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Like, can't nobody else be the character that Dre was. You feel what I'm saying? And a lot of people was trying to interact and trying to act like they was those people, and then you end up looking like a clown. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't you. You making you, you trying to create yourself to act like these people. You know what I'm saying? It's the copying. It's the copycats. It's the carbon copies. You know, not every carbon copy is gonna get the ink through it. What do you bring to the game? Man, I feel like I'm a well-rounded artist right now, just because I've been through the struggle, been in the game for a long time, got kids in the family right now, still in the streets, do loads, hustle. You know what I'm saying? I hustle, steal. I got every piece of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm bringing everything to the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just gonna stay on one subject on my whole album. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna give you something different. I got kids now. They gotta listen to my music too. So I got something for them to listen to. I got something for my grandmother to listen to. And I got something to steal for the niggas. When I'm drunk, I don't think a lot. When your cups in the air, you drink a lot. Hey, hey, I don't think y'all high like we. In the club, let you fly like we. Ma, we don't want you if you think a lot. When your cups in the air, you drink a lot. Cause I'ma still keep it hit, I'ma still bang payroll, and I'ma still do music for the streets, and I'ma take it to the club, and I'ma do songs for the bitches because they gonna love me too. I got everything for you, man. It's, it's, it's real rounded, man. I'm doing everything. I'm bringing the full package, man. So y'all niggas better watch out, man. That's what it is. To infinity, man, check this out, man. I'm pushing it to infinity. I got new niggas coming up behind me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm just trying to go global with it, man. I'm trying to go international, man. I want to touch everybody. I want to get that big money, man. I ain't trying to play around with these niggas, man. Yeah. What about this Bay Unity, man? Do you think the Bay's united? Do you think the OGs can get together? Do you think they should? Do you think they shouldn't? I think the OGs should get together most definitely because, I mean, the OGs is, is the ones to instill everybody else the game to what, what we really need to be doing right now you know what i'm saying if you don't got no ogs then you ain't got no guidance you know what i'm saying so we need the ogs to really just come together you know what i'm saying put map it out you know what i'm saying put the blueprint up you know what i'm saying and, and, and we push and have the young niggas right behind us doing the same thing and they see they see how we move they gonna move the same way you feel what i'm saying but right now they ain't got no guidance everybody just kick it back like damn exactly. this what we should be doing damn this ain't right but ain't nobody hollering like let's really put it together and tell these niggas what time it is or there's like in their own little crew or yeah. like different yeah. little clicks Exactly. exactly. Me and Beta Weeda was just talking about that last night because he been, you know, man, me and Beta Weeda been doing a few things. So he been coming to my studio. But the thing was, is we was hollering about how everybody got their own clicks, like you were just saying. And they feel like they don't need nobody else. They ain't how it work. Like if you put your click together I, with my click and he put his click with our click too, it's a big, it's a big movement. Especially, if we, but, but we all got to be real niggas and we all got to be solid. You feel me? That's the only way it's going to work. If you got real niggas, I got real niggas, he got real niggas, and you put all the real niggas together, that's unity, man. They wouldn't be able to stop. The whole bay. Man, we ain't with that phony shit though. That single you got out is, is blazing the charts. Talk about that. The whole part about that single, man, Breeze is ever is that uh that motherfucker song old oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> we did that like a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? You hear our kick sound. Came down high street, stopped on fair things. Hitting the cooking with cannon, so how you wanna the neck nobulating with Eddie P. Hit on the payroll, but still my What would he so for me with that little that three? Hit tell them, make my portion of fee. I serve my OG. He cleared it a motherfucker. Hey, but you know what I'm saying? What you mean by that? You know, you know, keep a hard working man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I know that it's hard. You know, sometimes you know what I'm saying. Nigga gotta really push shit out. But when, when I got him in the studio, he was comfortable. He was, you know what I'm saying? Eddie, let me get on this. You know what I'm saying? And he really felt that. And it was a real cool, laid back beat. You know what I'm saying? But my nigga keep doing his thing, though. I love him, man. And I appreciate him for even just coming back and doing the video. And it should be on MTV Jams in the next month, month and a half or something like that. If people want to support you and, and your whole clique, you know, they want to support what you stand for. What are the sites? What can they do? And I always say people, I tell people this, you got to come more than just say, buy my record. Because there's much more people can do besides buy a record. Of course, you can go to, to the MySpace, MySpace, backslash, Eddie Projects Rap. E-D-D-I-P-R-O-J-E-X. And you can just, you know what I'm saying, Google me up, you know what I mean? You can go to YouTube, see all type of videos I've been in, videos I did. I got live shows that I done did. You know what I'm saying? You come holler at me, man. It's a good look. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do y'all wrong. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something big for all of us. The whole bay. OG, stick together, man. Let's keep it lit, baby.